Hi, good morning and good evening everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, make a video on how to create stored procedure in Postgres uh, via Entity Framework Code First. Okay, so right now uh, we are using, uh, if you can notice, we are using the Visual Studio 2022 and which is very ugly. Okay, so right um to begin we need to create first an empty migration so to do that we're gonna say add migration uh, create a stored proc proc okay so we're going to create a stored proc and that is gonna uh, give us an empty migration here and then next is we're gonna uh, uh, use this migration builder here and then use SQL to uh, create a custom migration script here uh, SQL migration and then we are going to I will copy and paste this start procedure from the internet okay so we're going to use that and then we don't want any parameters right now I'm just gonna change the uh, name of the stored proc here uh, because we're dealing with trucks here say select trucks proc okay so that is the um, the code or the snippet on creating a stored procedure in uh, Postgres and we can put here our SQL select star from uh, from or maybe like, like uh, insert uh, into trucks then values so I'm not sure if Postgres and SQL server has the same syntax I forget but just gonna put here the code I think we have a code for our model okay a name that's name that not code name then value is from sprock right okay so that is the sprock that we're going to create and after that um, we need to also add the migration builder SQL to drop our sprock on how to do that um, let's see the internet here postgres drop store procedure i think just drop procedure yep okay so drop procedure procedure then this guy here All right so Close this one up. Okay, now we are gonna update database and to do, do, do. all right, we have an error and commit. Yeah, we don't have any same semicolon there. And are we recording this? Yep, we're uh, recording that and update database again. Choom. all right so let's open our store procedure or no our postgres refresh that this is our uh, .NET postgres and let's go to the schemas and let's look for the procedures so there you go there's our procedure our refresh how do we select that script um great script so yeah there you go there's our procedure here and uh, drop procedure yeah we need to put something like this also in our drop but yeah as you can see we can create our start procedures here just like what my uh, fellow programmer asked me in my previous one of my previous videos okay so we're just four minutes no oh, man I, I was hoping that we can get 10 minutes here 